Okay, now we're going to show you how to template a full height backsplash. If previously, we were doing the countertop. Everything was on one plane. We would shoot either below the countertop or above, and it would flatten those measurements to this point. So now we're going to designate our wall as a new plane. It could be a, a vertical wall. It could be an angle wall, let's say, on the bottom of an escalator or something goofy like that, or a shower tilted wall. Either way, what we do then is uh, here we hit the draw mode and go to template plane. Neat thing is we always give you this little taskbar in the bottom. It says move the laser to the left side, which would be over here, capture a point. Then we move it over to the right side, over here, capture a point. Then we bring it up high, basically a, a big triangle that would cover the area, and then capture that point. Now we're ready to, to template this Thing, just like we would a countertop. In fact, because there's no scribe walls on this, I'm going to actually use um, auto fill it. Okay? Now I'm going to start off over here. I'm going to go clockwise. I'm going to shoot one point over here on the countertop itself. Another one over there. Now I come up and hit two points on this wall over here. We're simulating a wall there. Now I hit two points on the bottom of that upper, on the back edge, right where the, the stone would go or whatever material you're using today. Then I come around this edge with two points. And then come up here. This board is to simulate the ceiling or however high you're going with the, uh, the material. Now I come down this side, two points again because everything is straight lines. It's nice and easy. Now I have two points on the bottom of this base unit here. Two on the full height cabinet. Okay, and I can close that up. Let's go to best fit. Let's rotate this. And there is our full height cabinet. You can also uh, check dimensions at this point if you'd like. Um, and, and you'll see that they're always within a 30 second or so. Now, we have two outlets here. These got to be cut out of the stone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our laser mode and switch to cross. Now I'm going to go over here and put a cross on the center screw of that outlet. Generally, when you're shooting an outlet, if it's crooked, the center screw is usually in the middle. So I tap that for a cross there, and I come over and tap another one over here. Now, using our drop-in file, I can drop in, and if I go to samples here, I should find a one-gang outlet. Basically, a one-gang outlet has a center point of the middle, so I say, okay, I want that one. I touch one here and one there. Let's zoom in on that and see how cool that looks. See, there's our outlet. And uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see the actual unit. And there we are, a completed full height uh, backsplash. Now, the only thing we have to consider here is that we might have to offset this bottom for the thickness of the stone on the countertop. There's some MDF on here now, but that's just because we didn't have any granite on it but you'd have to consider the offset from the bottom for the thickness of the granite so it would go in exactly. And that's how we template a plane.